of the most vaunted franchises in the NFL, certainly since 1960. Their 80s in the Cowboys. Met in Dallas for the first time since 1986. Would they live up to their billing? Well, it was Jason Garrett, of course. Well, Princeton at quarterback for the Cowboys. Won on Monday night. Garrett looking for Michael Urban and Eric Allen makes the play. Then look at the number one pick of the Raiders, Charles Woodson, on the other side. Woodson with great technique there. You see him get the nice bump at the line of scrimmage. That's, oh, that's classic Raider coverage. Then watch this play. Keep playing the game. Jeff George and James Jett. Kevin Smith is there, but so is Jett. Off the shoulder pass, and he goes 75 yards, 10 to 3. The Raiders at the half for John Gruden. And this is good coverage by Kevin Smith. He gets his head turned. He's trying to look back over his left shoulder. The ball bounces right off his pad to Jett, and who's gone? Third quarter. Second to goal from the Oakland 7. Garrett picked off by Charles Woodson in the end zone. Woodson gets it all the way back to the 24-yard line. Three and out for the Raiders. And when you say out, you're pointing to Deion Sanders. And are we allowed to say prime time anymore? I'm not Man. sure after the feature today. But 59 yards, he could go almost all the way down to the 14th. Dallas didn't even get a touchdown. They miss a field goal. Not happy days for Richie Cunningham. Cowboys trail 13-3 with seven minutes to go. Watch Woodson in the spot shadow. He misses the play, right? Billy Davis is going to be run down by Woodson. Amazing. And you can't teach that, Chris. He was on the blitz. He came back and made the play before the receiver could get to the goal line. Emmett would score to make it 13-10. Then Garrett picks up the corner. Blitz to Michael Irvin. 17 yards to the 43. Minute 46 to go. Garrett. Forget Aikman to Irvin. It's Garrett to Billy Davis. Is the famed Dallas connection now. Down to the 43 of Oakland. Garrett for the end zone. Eric Turner. Picks one against the Giants last week at the end of the game. Picks one here. Tom, what happened? Well, if you watch the receiver spot shadow underneath, you can see it's great coverage. But Eric Turner never allows the receivers to get deeper than he does. It appears the ball's thrown in double coverage. That's just a great play by Eric Turner. And then watch this. After an intentional safety, he gets a free kick with one second to go. It's Dion and Hambrick and Dion. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Dion, they got a return at the clock. So whoop, whoop, whoop. One problem. Sooner or later, you run out of Cowboys. The Raiders get it. Give the Cowboys credit for trying. But the Raiders, John Gruden, one of those uh, AFC West teams beating up on one of those <laughs> NFC East teams. It's a recurring theme this year. The Raiders win it by the count of 13 to 12 and held them at the 59 yards and 21 carries, Tom. Well, and Napoleon Coffin, 116 yards in, in support of Jess George, who is still learning John Gruden's system. He only threw for 159, 75 on one play. It's fitting that we put this in the Dallas section. Some sad news to report tonight in the world of football. Doak Walker is certainly a Texas hero at SMU and a member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Died tonight. Uh, Doak was 71 years of age, a great athlete, a great person. He was paralyzed in a skiing accident in January. Never really recovered, obviously. And he died of complications of that. Our condolences to Doak's family, dead at 71.